Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy and pleased to be connecting with you today on today's live stream. It is Wednesday, January 31, 2018. And I'm going to turn on the light here so I get a little more light. Good, that should help a little bit. There we go. That one little light can make a big difference. And let's adjust the camera. Okay. Okay. I think we got it all figured out now. So welcome to today's live stream. And I chose this live stream today because I was going through a little uh, physical purification. Fortunately, I've isolated what it is. But um, uh, we're going to use Da'ai, the greatest love, to bring about some health benefits and I'll do a little explanation with that. <clears throat> Most of you are probably familiar with Da I the Greatest Love, but there will be some that are new watching this for the first time and so it'll be a great opportunity for you to have a greater understanding of what it is. <clears throat> and then I would encourage all of those that are watching to please, um, if you're on your home computer, open up a new browser page, go to Facebook again, uh, but in, and, and go to my page, but instead of watching my video twice, scroll down to my page uh, where I posted earlier today. I put in the .i calligraphy. We'll be using that calligraphy um, a little bit later. So I want you to kind of prepare a little bit for that. So thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's presentation. It's a, it's a, it was one that I'm very happy about because I believe it can help a lot of people. The more people it can reach, I believe it can help that many more people. There are so many of us that suffer in darkness and we fail to recognize just how much light surrounds us and what we can do to keep that light around us. And um, so yesterday's presentation on darkness and light uh, in relationship to our spiritual journey was very uh, valuable. So I hope you um, take some time to go back and watch that if you did not. And also, uh, if you're new and you're hearing this for the first time and would like to see that, then just like and subscribe on my Facebook page and you can always go backwards on anything on my timeline and watch it. So that's how you can accomplish that. So let's see who's joined us here so far today. Just getting started. Welcome, Phyllis. Welcome also, Barbara Bottomley. Welcome, Jennifer. Aloha to Pamela. And welcome Larissa. Aloha and welcome Carol and Tina Bakala. Welcome. And aloha and welcome Chriselda. And welcome also to Kristen Rojas. Welcome Kathy Arnold and Patrice Whitaker. Aloha Dumple. And welcome Sister Biso. Hi Steve. Aloha and welcome Shelley Jenkins Wire. Thank you all so much for coming and joining and thank you for sharing. So yesterday I uh, spent most of the day relaxing after a very busy weekend. I was busy until about 6.30 but most of the day for me is the last three or four hours. And um, just kind of relaxed and took in the weekend with Master Cecilia Liu. And over this weekend, um, I re did receive actually the Da Ai blessing. And this calligraphy is pretty amazing, I have to say. I received, my wife received it, and she's had long standing shoulder pain uh, from, from um, an accident when she was 19 years old. So she's had it many, 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 many years now. And uh, I didn't really know how bad it was because, you know, she just kind of got used to it. But apparently the pain went up into the side of her head, down her shoulder and underneath her arm. Always would get tight if she lifted anything. And she received the Da'ai calligraphy blessing from Master Shah, Da'ai Jindan, uh, over this weekend. And uh, all of that has lifted. It's completely gone now. And she is so happy. So Da'ai, the greatest love, can carry extraordinary power. It is truly remarkable the time 
that we are in on earth. It is truly remarkable the significant amount of power that has come to humanity that can serve us in such a uh, pure and amazing way, in such a powerful and simple way. And I'll share something with you in just a little bit. We'll wait till we're about ready to go. So welcome also to uh, Janice Crosby. And welcome Lotzia. Welcome Samantha. Welcome Pamela. Uh, Pamela Johnson. Welcome also to uh, Jennifer Chris Smith and Pan Gerg. G-R-G. -G. <laughs> so I think that's Gerg. Not sure. Thank you for coming. So let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And we'll do this in connection in preparation for today's wisdom and teaching. Give me a minute. My back support just fell out. Okay. So close your eyes and I will call in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator all layers of divine Tao and source masters and ascended masters gurus lama sifu saints buddhas and bodhisattvas serving the planet of the light side including beloved mother earth stars planets galaxies and universes our individual heavens teams guides angels and saints we love you all honor you all appreciate you all and i bow down to each and every one of you with the greatest gratitude we thank you for all that you do for us, for what we see, what we do not see. We thank you for your presence in our lives, for your life saving, your blessings, your service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we invite each and every one of you to be present to offer any guidance, wisdom, service, and blessings in whatever way is most appropriate that you desire to do. Dear the soul of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So for those that are new, just tuning in for the first time, this is a mantra. It's called Love, Peace and Harmony. You can find it at lovepeaceharmony.org, O-R-G. And it is translated in 40 plus languages. Kristen Rojas has posted the information on our timeline if you'd like to chant along. And this is how we connect each and every time I do a live stream. So let us connect. Let us serve. Lula, lula, li. <coughs> lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Lula Hali Lula Lula Hali Lula Woi Woshin Hurling Woi Tran Ran Lay Hung Lee Rung Her Musher Shang Shang I ping on her she, Shang I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony ha 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so welcome also to snizana to GK Ravi, welcome Nola, welcome Alicia, and welcome also to Ford Shana, or Shana Ford, however you say it. Welcome Samantha and Diana, welcome M.A. Drade, Sharon Dodd, Missy Dodd, welcome John Crawley, and welcome Nikki Davis, welcome also Kathy Arnold. And so thank you for coming, thank you for sharing. Uh, Karen, or excuse me, Kristen Rojas 
is an awesome unconditional universal servant. She usually does sharing on my behalf, but her pages are locked up because she shares a lot. So any sharing that you do would be greatly appreciated. I am going to offer everybody a blessing to start with because I wish to share with you my gratitude for all of you coming. I know that for many of you, there are many other things that you can be doing right now and that you spend time with me is important because I know it helps your soul journey, but it also uh, helps mine. So thank you for the opportunity to serve you. So I will offer each, each of you a blessing for your request. This will be a three minute blessing. So you may uh, request silently to heaven for whatever it is you would like. If you truly want to know the power of a blessing, uh, request something physical that is measurable. Then you will start, start to understand just how powerful this is. This blessing I will offer uh, could have some significant results, even though it's only three minutes. And for those that are kind of new and not quite sure, that means a healing. Uh, we have to substitute the word blessing because, um, well, because, you know, you can't heal anything unless you're a doctor. Uh, and you certainly can't say that you've cured anything unless you're a doctor. Of course, doctors don't cure anything ever. Uh, but anyway, that's the law. So we say the word blessing. So make your request uh, silently. Welcome, CJ. Make your request. And we'll start initiate a blessing. I am preparing. This blessing is as appropriate for everyone who is watching now, everyone who is watching in the future. On. Um, this video and everyone who is listening on podcast. Welcome Archana. This is a blessing. Prepare to receive. Make your request silently. And if you do have something that's measurable and you can measure the difference, please make note of that for yourself. Blessing begin. <laughs> is a healing blessing make your request to receive hey Yeah, 
ยายายายุยายเฮยายยายายายายายุยายายายุยายายายุยายายายุยายTreasure, please return. Thank you, Divine Dark Source. Thank you, my spiritual father, Master Shah, for the transmissions that I can offer these blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I wanted to offer my gratitude to each of you for your continued presence, your service, uh, what you do that is unspoken and unseen to let others know about uh, this service, Master Shah, uh, his wisdom and uh, bringing forth of love, peace, and harmony to humanity. You know, it often is as simple as helping others to be happier and healthier. When we do all do our part, helping others to be happier and healthier, we can make a significant, significant difference. So thank you. Uh, I am, let's see, welcome also, Samantha Heather. Welcome, <laughs> Shelley Jenkins Wire. And uh, I'm gonna go into a 30 second commercial here. Uh, because I don't know how many of you will be able to stay this entire uh, next 45 minutes. But starting this Sunday, I am offering a 12-week uh, Open Spiritual Channels course. I had 20 students in the first version of this. It was very, very successful. Many did open their third eyes. Those who had third eye uh, became quite a bit more open, and they learned very sacred and secret empowerments to ensure their spiritual channels remain open. There is a lot of sacred secrets that are revealed and special practices that you pretty much have to train with a, with a high-level master to learn. And fortunately, I have trained with one, Master Shah. And so this starts this Sunday. Uh, I encourage each and every one of you to uh, follow the link that Kristen just posted, or you can go above this video and just follow to my home page and scroll down. You'll see the the information there about the open spiritual channels and um, there is not a person that comes out the other side of this 12-week course that does not feel better on just about every level of their physical emotional mental spiritual well-being so please uh, go look at that uh, if that is something of interest to you and if you know of somebody that it may interest please share that with them as well so thank you okay the commercial is finished now uh, welcome and thank you, Kristen, for posting that link. Welcome, Susan Birchmore. Welcome, Anjali Flauta. Welcome, Crystal Valencia. <clears throat> Today I'll be focusing on The Greatest Love. This book, I know it's backwards, it just came out about a month ago. It's called Greatest Love. And as you can see on the cover there, this gold that is a calligraphy called Da I. This is what it looks like in black and white. And I want to tell you a little bit about um, this. And this is a, be a very brief explanation, but I really want you to hear this. Literally, since the age of 18, I have been looking for something that could bring healing to everyone for everything, finances, health issues, <clears throat> relationship problems. I was looking for something that wasn't restricted by a belief system or a color or a race, that wasn't restricted by time, that you have to uh, devote a massive amount of time to get a result, or money especially. I didn't want anything that was restricted by money. I wanted to find a, a form of a healing that worked since the age of 18. I'm a half century, guys. Well, that's a lot of searching. So I literally searched for three decades before I found something. And it's called Tao Calligraphy. And what I have discovered, what I found, 
is that simply by following the brush strokes that are put on this piece of paper, this free piece of paper, it's in this book right here, simply by connecting my heart to the heart of the Creator, something about Tao calligraphy carries a very, very pure healing frequency. Kind of difficult to explain. I can just tell you, I've searched three decades and this is what I found. So when I follow with my fingers the flow of this brush stroke and just keep repeating it, it's almost like a, a, a meditation. So this is very much like a meditation. And I can actually close my eyes once I've memorized a stroke and just do it in my mind. And it's a form of meditation that creates amazing, amazing results. So I tell you that for all of those that don't understand it first, for all of those that are trying to understand it secondly, because to try to understand it is almost not worth the time. To experience it, it answers all the questions. Because if you can reverse a long-standing unpleasant experience, be it finances or health relationship, because all you did was meditate with this calligraphy and follow the brush strokes, I don't think you need to understand it. You just know that's the difference. So I encourage you to uh, invest in 10 of these. Give it to your friends. And no, I'm not trying to sell the book. If that's what you think, we're wrong again. I'm trying to save lives. I'm trying to help people not spend 30 years of their life trying to figure out what it took me 30 years of mine to figure out. So today we're going to use the greatest love, da I, to bring blessings to our health. That's the focus today, health. Okay? And so how do we do that? We employ the four powers. And so welcome Donna Brandt, welcome Elizabeth, and I think, is there anybody else? Welcome Brenda Chung, welcome Wes Boltman, welcome Catherine, welcome Pamela. And I might have missed one or two there, forgive me if I did. Welcome to everybody and thank you for sharing. For those that just came in, please um, go back at the end of this. I offered a nice three minute blessing. I shouldn't even say three minute because miracles have happened in one minute. But I offered a very nice blessing. I want to make sure you receive that. <clears throat> so this is how you do it. It's very simple. We connect. Step one, connect. What does that mean, connect? Connect to your source. What did we talk about yesterday? Light side, dark side in our spiritual journey. We are all originally connected to source. And when we remember that, <laughs> step one, remember that you are connected to source. And when we um, connect at the level of our heart, then we can have a significant difference. If you just, for example, purchased this book, opened it to this page, and started just tracing it, dunk, 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 that's what it's called. I, I refer to it as following the brush stroke. The short version is tracing it. But if that's all you did, you would get a mediocre result. If, on the other hand, you connected to the book, connected to the author, Master Shah, and the, and the co-authors, and connected to the source, which is the source of all of our blessings, all of our healings. Certainly not, it's not Master Shaw and it's not the calligraphy. These are just mediums through which the frequency comes through, the healing comes through. They'll, t they'll be the first to tell you they're not the ones doing it, they're just a medium. And I don't mean medium in, the term, in terms of a psychic medium, I mean a medium, I'm a middleman, a person. Uh, but they are devoted to serve humanity, therefore they are a pure middleman or medium through which these frequencies can come through. They're the ones that flowed the book, but the frequencies, the healing comes from source. 
So connect, step one. Dear God, repeat silently if it's comfortable. Dear God, dear the source, my beloved creator of all life, creator of my physical body, creator of this most precious planet, Mother Earth, the creator of the sun and all the stars and every other thing, all of the beautiful birds of this planet, the dolphins and the whales, the creator of everything, my beloved creator. My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name. I truly, truly and sincerely apologize for not truly connecting with you more each and every day. I have taken for granted my life and my presence. How many of you complained today? My hand is up. If your hand's not up, you're probably lying. Please forgive me for complaining and being woefully insufficient in my gratitude. For if I truly was connected to you, my beloved source, my beloved creator, if I truly was connected, I would be walking and breathing from a place of gratitude. I see many of your posts, they're filled with complaints, whining, this happened to me, that happened to me. You know, I don't pull any punches. You're seeking attention, stop it. Go to your source. Seek source. Ask for forgiveness for not focusing and connecting to source. Ask for blessings to be more conscious and stay in a place of gratitude. Stay in a place of alignment. Step one, connecting to source. So if you get this book, be in the place where you can receive the greatest possible blessing. Because the greatest possible blessing cannot occur if you just get the book, open it, and start following the brush strokes. Your heart is not open. You're, you're just stuck in the problems of this world that you've allowed yourself to be stuck in. Become truly present. That is when the power that it took me three decades to find in one piece of paper that can change anybody's life, regardless of age, brain trauma, sexual problems, financial issues, regardless of your story, which I'm sure is the best of all of ours, doesn't matter your story. It can be blessed in a very potent way. You just need to remember where you came from. Do you understand? Continue. I am so very grateful, my beloved divine, for all that you have done for me for the life that I have lived and all of the wonderful things that have happened in this life. I have had amazing experiences and memories. I have stepped on some of the most beautiful places on this earth. I have had experiences that are very unique and one of a kind. I am so grateful for those. I ask from my heart, my beloved Divine Creator, that as I connect to your heart through this medium, through this Tao Source Calligraphy, that you please assist me to further 
align to your heart by releasing these blockages of my health and then choose an area of health it could be emotional health it could be mental health it could be physical health choose silently we don't need to know your personal stuff but tell God tell your creator you don't like the word God use Tao you don't like the word Tao use creator whatever you want to use <clears throat> dear all of the beings of light serving through this calligraphy da I calligraphy all the heavens animals heavens generals and soldiers all of those that have come from heaven to serve me while I do this meditation I am so grateful for your unconditional service forgive me for not honoring you before forgive me for not recognizing that you are part of heaven that you come when people call thank you for your unconditional service thank you for putting your life at risk to help me clear my blockages you don't know that's a much higher wisdom I tell you the truth those beings from heaven that come to service they put their life at risk I'm extremely grateful thank you connect to the calligraphy dear the soul of this die calligraphy again for those that came in late if you open up another browser page if you're not on your phone you might even be able to do it on your phone open up another browser page and go to my Facebook page and then bypass the video that that'll be showing right now uh, one or two posts before that you'll see that I posted this picture on my Facebook page okay I posted the picture from the book so you have the eye to be able to trace to be able to follow the brush stroke in a meditative manner okay I'll keep talking while I give you that another minute or two to find that and get yourself ready for this practice dear the soul of da I greatest love mantra and calligraphy I love you I'm extremely grateful for your love, your blessings, and your service. As I do this meditative practice today, could you please bless me to bring healing to the condition of, state your condition, I've stated mine, silently I am so so very grateful thank you thank you thank you welcome Jovi and welcome also Erica welcome Carol Schwartz and welcome Shauna McCrossan so now I will trace on your behalf if you do not have this very special Da I greatest love Tao source calligraphy and I will serve you with this as appropriate so for those that have just tuned in silently make your request for a health issue could be physical emotional or mental do your best to measure it we'll check at the end of this and for those who just tuned in I'm using the book called greatest love it's backwards in your screen greatest love just came out a month ago from master Shah okay so let us prepare Da I greatest love blessing from this calligraphy in this book to all those watching all those listening in podcasts as appropriate blessings begin da I, da I. 
Dai 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 Greatest Love Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. For those that are just tuning in, this is a blessing for physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual health issue. Make your request silently. Receive. Dai 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 Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. He sure died. I wrong. Silently repeat, dear the soul of the Da I calligraphy, the countless layers of divine Tao and source, the countless beings of light, heavens, animals, generals and soldiers, and more within. I am so grateful for your unconditional service to help me to remove these health blockages. To all of the souls, continue to repeat, very important, to all of the souls that I or my ancestors have harmed, especially for the same condition that I have requested, because your pain, your suffering, your emotional mental imbalance could easily be as a result of bringing that same harm to others at a different time. You do not remember. Continue. To all of the souls, if I have ever harmed you in the same way for the same area of request that I have made, there is truly no excuse. I can only deeply and sincerely apologize I humbly and sincerely ask forgiveness 
for this and all lifetime that I or my ancestor have harmed any souls in such an unpleasant manner. Please forgive me and my ancestors. Please receive the virtue being offered through this meditative da I calligraphy tracing. I am very grateful. Thank you. Continue with your eyes closed unless you're tracing the calligraphy. Send your greatest love. Da I da I. Da I da I. Da I da I. Da I da I. Greatest love. Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Wu Chiao Jian I Rong Hua Zai Nang Xin Xing Shan Ming Da I Da I die, die, I die, die, I die, I die, I Thank you, thank you, thank you. Most important, when you complete your practice, you place your hands in prayer position and you offer your deepest gratitude. Thank you, my beloved Divine Creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the layers of Divine Tao and Source, all the Heavens, Generals and Soldiers, all the Heavens Animals, all the beings of light who come to serve through this Da'ai blessing. I am extremely, extremely grateful. Now remember to offer gratitude. <clears throat> there are many souls that may have been harmed and they may have forgiven you. Offer them gratitude. They're all the souls that I may have harmed, my ancestors may have harmed for this condition that I had requested for myself. I thank you for your unconditional forgiveness. I will not make the same mistakes again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a very simple spiritual protocol. And it will enhance the healing blessings you receive one thousand fold. If you just take that little time in the beginning to connect and at the end to offer your gratitude. When you're in the middle and you're doing the, tra the tracing, you can be very meditative. 10, 15 minutes worth, half hours worth. More is better in this case. Phyllis, and please share. Phyllis says that during the blessing she was yawning. Yawning is the body trying to grab oxygen. And it's also adjusting to the frequency, because very high frequency, tearing, rocking, crown chakra vibrating, third eye and throat vibrating. So very big movement for you, Phyllis. I'm not sure what you requested, but obviously these were the areas that were blocked that needed to be cleared before additional frequency can come into the 
blessings for this area. Welcome Lynn, <coughs> uh, Lynn Redville, and welcome Tammy Lynn, and welcome also to Karen Mahoney and Paula Hyatt Tawana and Shauna McCrosen. Uh, some of you came in late or at the end of the blessing. Welcome Lisa Patterson. Uh, for those that came in late, I offered a very powerful healing blessing uh, right around the, after the introductions and all that. So I do recommend you go back and take advantage of that blessing and then you will be set up for the second blessing that we just finished. And so Kathy Arnold crying now, such joy, feeling much better, no appetite, tired and nauseated before tracing the dot eye. No appetite, tired and nauseated before tracing. Now she's so hungry and all of the nausea is gone. Wow, that's huge. Welcome Judy Thompson, hello. And welcome Lily Lala, aloha. Uh, Lydia Lali, thank you for coming. Kristen says she asked from emotional body, huge clearing and opened her message center, moved to tears in the hundan. Wonderful. Susan said she felt very happy and lighter after this blessing. Great. And Master, Master Paul, she used her own book. Good. So for those who just tuned in, we just did a huge healing blessing from this book. It's called Greatest Love. And we used this special calligraphy, which prior to your entrance, I described uh, how it works. And in my 30 years of searching for one thing that didn't have a cost associated, didn't have any boundaries associated, that actually worked to bring healing to everybody and everything regardless, this is what I have discovered. So you need to learn more yourself. And welcome Stan Davian as well. Uh, so Phyllis said she asked for complete financial healing. Okay, that's, a, that's like a uh, gargantuan request, but apparently heaven made some significant movements uh, in the upper part of your torso, clearing blockages there, probably mind blockages, Phyllis, keep that in mind. You may have some negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that were inhibiting you. And so do your best now, Phyllis, to focus on gratitude. If you see a penny, be grateful. If you, uh, do, if you have food in your fridge, be grateful. Be grateful for everything that represents abundance in your life. You will find you could receive more of it. Uh, Divya uh, Moore says she has this book. Master Francisco gifted it to her. That's a beautiful gift. Congratulations. And then Samantha was asking for health healing. Did you notice anything, Samantha? Uh, if, if you were uncomfortable before, what it is now, like Kathy Arnold, she was in nausea, not hungry at all. Now she's hungry and nausea is gone. What was your experience? Catherine, she felt a clearing in her message center and there's some pain and hardness and she can feel it softening. Some people um, are more uh, open than others. Some people's hearts are wide open. And the beautiful thing about wide open hearts is there's just so much love to give. The unpleasant thing about those that have wide open hearts is they get hurt very easily. They can become hardened very easily. So it's important to have something like this book to keep us soft, to keep our hearts open because it's best not to close your heart, but it's also best to arm yourself with protections, so to speak. And Samantha says, yes, her legs feel lighter. Um, I can't click on that, Gordon. Maybe someone else can click and tell Gordon if that's the right link. Brenda Chung said, her pain level dropped a lot during this blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please offer gratitude to the right, right location. Thank you, God. Thank you, Source. Thank you, the soul of all the beings that came through this conduit. Thank you, Master Shah. They are the ones that delivered that blessing. I'm just a middleman. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's what I mean by this. This is so awesome. I just sit here and talk for 35, 40, 50 minutes. You guys have miracle level results. Do you know of any, have, have, in your life, have you ever come across anything that within 10 minutes of a blessing, these symptoms dissipate 50, 70%, 100%? Within 10 minutes of, of 
just listening to somebody or of tracing your fingers over a piece of paper anybody anybody in your life have you ever come across that I haven't like I said three decades of searching this is heaven come to earth and this is why people need to open their hearts to understand Tao calligraphy and what is Tao calligraphy now for those that uh, are truly want to have you know some significant suffering removed I want to offer you a um, an offer I'm gonna point the camera here you see that big one on the wall there that is an original Master Shah Da'ai calligraphy and it carries extraordinarily high frequency much higher than this book I honored the cost of a new car for it think about that because when I ask the honor fee it's not too much so you can ask for a 10 minute blessing from it you can ask for a 30 minute blessing you can ask for a one hour blessing a 10 minute blessing is $100 and the blessings are extraordinary so if you have a significant issue in your life and you would like a extraordinary blessing for it um, it will allow me to pay back what I had to borrow to receive this one-of-a-kind uh, uh, treasure because this this is an investment in so many ways uh, you know think of how many lives this will save ten ten years from now this will easily be worth a million dollars easily <clears throat> uh, but I didn't buy it for that I bought it to save lives so anything that you give to me I just give it back to uh, my teacher to help honor for this uh, service so it's available to those that are interested they can contact me through Facebook Messenger uh, through my uh, website my email is a at yahoo.com my website's listed above for those listening on podcast same thing a at yahoo.com so this is the nature of da I the greatest love this is the nature of Tao source calligraphies so do go out and get this book if you don't already have it it's called the greatest love uh, it's pocket size it'll fit in your purse quite easily it'll fit in a man's pocket quite easily it's the best gift you can ever give to anybody you care for and even those that you wish to make a difference for there are a lot of people on the street that can benefit from this book um, and most of them can read so you can make a big difference in people's lives that way okay so I thank all of you for coming I thank all of you for your sharing I thank all of you for uh, your presence again for those who came in late watch from the beginning there was two big blessings offered today thank you for sharing at the end of this letting other people know about this love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you to all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service countless bow downs countless bow downs countless bow downs respectfully return thank you everybody bye bye